Hey guys, so I finally just got to watch Arrow Season 6, Episode 23, Life Sentence. Um, this is the final episode for Season 6 of Arrow, and um, wow, what an episode. Um, it has a 9.1 uh, here on IMDb, and I guess I'm going to give it like that a 9, maybe even an 8. Um, it, it was a really good uh, ending, and it was it's, it's, it's a nice ending to surprise in that you know they, they end like let, let's just get into it and then i'll go we'll go through the, the whole thing so uh it starts off we, you know we get team arrow taking on the police department with the fbi you know their scientists are taking on the uh, the um the police department and the, the the police headquarters and uh diaz is is, is based at two places that they know where they are uh, but they don't find any of thing of diaz oliver offers diggle uh, a second green arrow suit which is a pretty cool move but diggle kind of uh denies it kind of just saying no you know i don't really need it there's only supposed to be one green arrow having two green arrows we kind of mess with the mess with that narrative that's been set up type thing and I'm, I'm glad they didn't do that but give him two green hours i like the idea and the the symbolism that it would it does for him showing giving offering that to diggle but i'm glad they didn't actually give it to him and you didn't you didn't have two green hours going around that would have just been kind of uh it would have just broken everything down it would have been too weird it would not have, have worked um diaz goes for uh ends up going looking for the the longbow hunters which they end up never we never end up seeing them i mean maybe it's them at the end end of the episode but we never really see them so it's like okay i was kind of useless and i tried googling those guys and they really don't have much of a uh, much of a history in the comic books uh the longbow hunters they're they, they are apparent in um, one of the um, uh arrow one of the green arrow reboots and where he you know stayed on, on the uh, island and all that stuff and they don't really have very many comic book appearances and stuff so it's really going to be cool to see where if where those guys come back into play for season seven um and one of the interesting things here going into season seven uh well we'll get into that after we get to all this so anatolian to turning himself in because diaz is look is you know is on tam type thing and diaz uses black siren to get uh, trying to get quentin to call off the fbi but he doesn't he sends the fbi after him and uh, all of her and the arrow team uh, Rene and the FBI, or, and uh, the main FBI agent, another one, they walk into a trap where there's all, like, the lasers and stuff, and things are about, the, the bombs are going to go off, and Rene calls his daughter, and um, when he called his daughter, I kept on thinking that, why don't we see the other end of that conversation? Why don't we hear what his daughter has to say? His daughter is older than than uh, than William, uh, and even William is, like, looks like he might be, he's at least 10 years old, so she's probably, like, 14 maybe 14 years old or maybe even 15 years old so um i don't know why we didn't have her side of the the conversation i think that would have been quite interesting to see that although there was a lot going on in this episode and i'm glad that they kept stuff at the end a little bit more at the end rather than having a long Rene conversation and stuff with his daughter but um I was hoping that that would kind of be some sort of a deleted scene. Maybe they could put out online on their the CW YouTube channel or something, uh, and just have it being like a, a longer version of the, the 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 phone call type thing that Renee had when he was thinking that he was going to get blown up, you know. And and it was a good conversation. It just went by so fast that if we had a longer version on YouTube, like an extended scene, you know, type thing, that would have been really cool. So that, that and kind of give you some more context and even just hearing. Um, or even just the same length conversation, but just what was, uh, what was I can't think of her name, but Sophie, Sophie, um, but uh, having her, what, what was her side of the conversation? That would be quite interesting to see that and seeing what she, her reaction is to the, obviously that at the end of the day, there's, there's nothing, but I think it would have been cool just to see her reaction and see how um, things are gonna, are gonna go for her. It would have been cool to seeing her side of that uh, conversation would have been quite interesting. Black Siren ends up taking, uh, Quentin ends up taking a, uh, a bullet for Black Siren, and, uh, and so he starts bleeding out, but he starts bleeding out very slowly, uh, and Black Siren ends up, uh, uh, sending and then you know Arrow shows up everyone shows up later on they take over and it's just Oliver and, and Diaz on, on the roof and Black Siren comes running up and just kind of screams and launching him into the water uh, and that's where we end really pretty much with him that you know he kind of survives that uh, and then Black Siren calls um, Sarah Lance to the hospital to be there for um, her father and that was a really good moment between the two characters is when uh, when Sarah showed up it I knew she was coming in here we, there was it was you know she Katie Lotz posted it on her uh, online and stuff and it was all out there that she was going to be in the final episode of Arrow since you know she could film it because she was done um, Legend of Tomorrow at this point when they were filming um, the last episode here and I'm glad that she was here and I think it's really going to be cool to see because the ending with with for Sarah Lance everything is just kind of 
all kinds of stuff happen. Oliver gets arrested. She shows up and Oliver gets arrested. Her father is in, in the emergency. Her father dies in surgery and Oliver goes in, into su- Supermax. And then so for Sarah, who has no idea what's going on with this whole season, she even shows up and talks to talks to Black Siren as if she's never met her, which makes no sense to me because she should know who Black Siren is because Black Siren was in the beginning of her season of The Legend of Tomorrow with hanging out with Damien Dark and... Um, Damian Dark had went around and used her uh, a little bit, so it's not their first. Not like their first time meeting at all. Um, it's just I feel like they definitely have met. I can't remember the exact episodes or what what, what happened, but uh, they were around and they did have uh, you know her in. Uh, she was definitely in this episode in this season of Legend of Tomorrow uh, earlier on. So um, I don't know why uh, she acts like she has no idea who she is. You know. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see where things go with that and how that kind of plays into, um, you know, this Sarah on, on Legend of Tomorrow, how things are going to go. Hopefully, you know, if everything ended, if, how everything ended on Legend of Tomorrow with them, you know, uh, setting up Constantine for becoming a, a season regular on that. Uh, hopefully we can go into that with, with Sarah kind of completely distraught and destroyed and you know giving someone else the team and i'd like it to be that if you haven't seen arrow you know you're completely lost and you if you in your you're kind of like where did she get all this new anger from and she completely makes sense for her i would even see i could even see her being like yeah legends you guys got to go do this on your own i'm going to stay here on, in, on arrow and uh, and grieve with everyone else of uh of her father so i could see them doing that but at the same time i could see them uh Maybe they do a time jump in between, like just like the regular whatever it is from now until the episode, however many months it is until now until the first episode of season seven in April in, uh, you know, September, October, um, have that same amount of time pass by. And she spent that whole time, you know, in Star City in 2018, uh, mourning everyone, going to the funerals and all that stuff uh, and hanging and hanging out with everyone. And then she leaves to go back uh, to um she leaves to go back to to the letter of tomorrow uh, uh, cast would you know, go over there i think that could make sense with that um uh, so it would be cool to see that you know maybe starting off season seven episode um uh starting off the first episode of um of arrow uh, season seven episode one with sarah on there and halfway through the episode she just takes off and is like yeah i, I got you know i've had enough time you know i can't keep mourning here i can't keep uh sitting here just crying so type of thing and she just kind of goes back to the legends halfway through the episode i think that could be quite cool just her, her hanging out for at least a first episode of uh you know season seven uh, still kind of hanging out with um with, with uh, black siren and stuff so i think that could be cool seeing that and then having her go into you know maybe missing out the first episode of ledger of tomorrow and showing up in the second episode could be quite I- interesting with that so all in all it's gonna be cool to see where things go with this i'm glad it sh- she was here especially because she's kind of has no idea what's going on um so for her it's everything's got all messed up i think that's really going to be cool to see where things go with that um and to her is this an anachron- anachronism the fact that uh the fact that everyone is uh, that all of us supposed to go to prison because isn't he supposed to be uh the whole point the reason why oliver wasn't chosen to be a ledger of tomorrow back in season one uh of legends by rip was the fact that he knew that the people that he chose were all in or didn't really matter into history you know he could pick them out of history and them being absent from the future events of their you know where they were didn't didn't make didn't make, make any didn't change history affect history too much so i think it could be cool to see where things go with that and how that plays with in ledger of tomorrow you know now that oliver's in prison how does that what does that do i mean it doesn't change i guess he's still technically in that timeline so he's not going out of his timeline but if he's in prison does it mess up time how does that affect uh ledger of tomorrow um that could be quite interesting playing with that there so it's going to be cool to see where things go with this um i am disappointed that there is no and none of this episode we do know that uh, roy harper is supposed to be Col- colton haynes is supposed to be returning as a re- season as a uh, season, uh, season regular for episode for season seven um and since the last time we saw him he took off with uh, willa hall and uh, leah um and uh, with leah thea um thea queen and they also had um they were there with um uh, the demon's daughter there I can't think of her name Nisa al Ghul so I think it's gonna be cool to see uh, because their relationship is so connector and she and she left to go spend her time with uh, with Roy Harper and be with him and you know probably get married and all that stuff and hang out uh, ha- happy ending together 
Um, how are we not going to have Thea and have Roy Harper? They never explained that and they didn't set up any of that in this episode. So that's going to be cool to see that uh, going into season seven. How are we going to build up Roy Harper coming back? Um, and how are we going to explain why Roy Harper is back but not Thea? Uh, and what has to be a really good and a, a proper uh, explanation. Hopefully they can spend the, the summer you know, writing that and getting out the, the, the proper explanation as why um, Roy Harper is back uh, in Star City hanging out with the team and all that but D is not you know since they're they're so strong together and they've always done so much stuff to save each other and all that stuff um and the whole point is that you know the left to stay to be with him uh so why why is she not going to be around and why is Roy Harper going to be around so that'd be cool to find that out for season seven so all in all I'm really excited with this I liked where, where things are going with this and the fact that you know um the Oliver Queens in prison is going to be pretty cool to see that. Hopefully, again, we, since we do have one more episode, I think of uh, the Flash. Uh, hopefully, we can see we can see the, that uh, over on uh, over on Arrow. Maybe the the exact comp. Like maybe it's on the in the news. Um, over on Arrow, over on Flash, and then we could see the the clip of Oliver telling everyone that he's the Green Arrow. Um, which I don't know why he did that. You know, he he admitted to to the FBI. That he's the Green Arrow, got that admitted to her, so she could he could get the FBI to help everyone. Doesn't mean he has to tell them publicly. He can just say, no, my business. The public doesn't need to know the, why he's getting arrested. That's that's their that's not his business type thing. Um, that's not their business. It's, so it's just like I don't know why he even told everyone uh, on TV and all that. Pretty much he knew that 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 um, uh, that that we see that Diaz is alive and stuff. We knew that Diaz didn't didn't make it. They didn't find his body or anything like that. So they know he knows Diaz is alive out there. So why would he openly admit that yeah, uh Oliver Queen is gone so you can come back to the city and take over the city because uh Oliver Queen's in prison and no one's really there to help stop you type thing. I mean, um it looks like the FBI are still going to be around obviously, but it's just going to be weird to see I don't know why uh, why Oliver Queen would even do that. I mean, maybe other people, I forget if Slade Wilson is still alive, um, you know, he's still out there that he could, um, who could, who might want to come over and, and, and it just, it just seems like, so it's a terrible move on Oliver's part to, to, to publicly say that he's the Green Arrow, uh, and it just makes no sense as to why things are going to go uh, like that, so, um, it almost seems like if they're going to be doing another Flashpoint type thing, or not, are they on Flash, Letter to Tomorrow, or Arrow, or wherever, somewhere, something that affects all shows like that and kind of completely messing them up although flashpoint didn't really affect a letter of tomorrow probably because they were kind of out of time but uh hopefully maybe they could do things on uh, letter of tomorrow and actually have it kind of uh the effects the kind of go out ripple effect into arrow and uh, flash that could be quite cool seeing that i think it's gonna be quite cool to seeing where things go and how things kind of get changed up but all in all it's gonna be really cool to see where things go uh, with all this and at the end we do see that uh, you know Diggle did keep the the Green Arrow costume so it's going to be cool to see where things go with that and how things kind of continue on um, and maybe if um, it, it would be cool to see if, if Diggle does put on the, the hood the second hood that he a second Green Arrow costume that um, then Oliver gave him is if he put it on but he changed it up a little bit to make it a little bit more his own so that he can say yeah I'm the Green Arrow but uh, I'm a different version of the Green Arrow type thing so I think that could be cool to see that so he doesn't kind of take they it's not like he's trying to um he's not like he's trying to to undo and get Oliver out of prison by putting on the hood again but uh, he's also just trying to kind of keep the the spirit alive and keep the 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 hope alive by keeping Green Arrow alive even though Oliver is in prison so I think that could be cool to see with that um and because of that he could keep doing that and uh, Watson the uh, FBI agent can't really do anything because you know he's immune uh, by all of our type things. So I think that could be cool to see where things go with all that and how things kind of continue on. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see uh, where things go from here for uh, Arrow and Ledger of Tomorrow and Flash and all that stuff. It's going to be quite cool to see. So I'm really glad that uh, Sarah was in here. It was really cool seeing her. Um, it was a great moment in here. I definitely can't wait to see how this is going to make her go over on uh, uh, on Ledger of Tomorrow. Because on Ledger of Tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, she was still, uh, she had this whole relationship with Ava and stuff. And she was kind of not, you know, in, 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 a, in, in a different mood. And she wasn't really, um, you know, kind of, uh, everything just kind of seemed down for her. So I think for this, it's really going to be messed up to see uh, how, how she can kind of go for her in that show. Like, because she, she might blame herself for... Um, 
her father dying because she wasn't there. She was busy help doing, you know, doing other stuff in time. She wasn't there to help to save her father uh, when he needed her type thing. So I think that's really going to be cool to see how that weighs on her uh, going into Legends of Tomorrow season four or five, uh, next season of Legends of Tomorrow, whatever it is. That'll be cool to see how that weighs on her throughout the whole season there. And maybe if we get to see him, uh, I'd imagine that um, Bob Blackthorn probably doesn't didn't sign on for a season uh, seven and that's why they killed him off so i don't imagine that we'll be seeing too much of him uh whether in flashbacks or in different time periods on litter of tomorrow but i think we could see maybe one or two episodes there uh that could be quite interesting with that just you know him showing up for an episode or two when they go back in time and they see him and you know maybe sarah goes back in time um at some point just and sees you know younger version of her laurel and younger version of uh paul blackthorne type thing of queen and lance and just hangs out with them for a little bit and comes back and uh, to you know just to spend time with them and then comes back to their to her time i think it could be quite interesting with that so we'll have to wait and see where things go with all this it does look pretty cool definitely can't wait to see where things go for season seven so let me know what you think guys about this uh season and this episode of arrow season six episode 23 life sentence and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace out. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing. This is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.